Hey, what's up, modelers? I'm uh, just doing a little update on my uh, gremlin here. He, uh, waiting on some material to uh, finish it out. But uh, I chose a color for the interior, and it's not green. Let's see if we can get a little. I, uh, it's moccasin tan, and I use some uh, weathering stuff to uh, darken the seats up a little bit. I did the door handles, and did the shifter, and the uh, steering wheel, and the body color. A little, little bit of detail on them. Uh, see it in there. I did the uh, flocking with the embossing powders. Several guys have done that. Uh, got the engine just sitting in there. But one of the reasons I'm doing the video on top of the uh, just the general update deal. But uh, I got these Uh, window color it's like an acrylic but it's clear it uh, helps you get a stained glass look I used them on the uh, light globe I made for my wife several years ago and it holds up okay you know I got a couple different colors here that's the price that's the place and I thought you know that might be cool for a uh, you know tail lights on a car maybe uh, the uh, turn signals other things then I got to playing with them and uh, I thinned them out and you could airbrush them they're pretty thick coming straight out of the uh, container you can see it kinda glops up pretty easy kinda looks like that crap on a top of the mustard jar at the church picnic but uh, I don't need to use that here let's uh, get a piece of paper here pour that out on that's yeah, kind of thick when it comes out if it comes out yeah there we go that yeah, kind of even looks like mustard a little bit but uh, yeah maybe you can do some fake hot dogs Anyways, I thinned it out. This is that color. Same stuff I used. Uh, shoot, we got a little shadow thing going on here. But uh, yeah, there we go. It kind of looks a little candy like. I painted this silver. This side I didn't paint. But, uh, and that's probably five or six. Um, medium light to medium wet coats of this. I thinned this with uh, I mixed the uh, future, future floor care and rubbing alcohol 50-50 then I mixed that with the uh, color at about 70 30 mostly alcohol like I said this stuff's pretty thick so it needs to be thinned out pretty good and uh, yeah I've got some green here I also played with a little bit and uh, yeah I sprayed this silver also and it kind of bottled on me but uh, yeah this I didn't spray I just scuffed it with uh, 2000. It kind of looks a little candy-ish. You know, and I mixed mixed a couple colors and come up with this, lack of a better word, mess. And this is straight the green straight out of the container. There's several different colors. I mean, you could kind of tell that this. I believe this has a little bit more yellow in it. And they also have a black, which I know some people like to tint windows. And other stuff 
but uh, yeah the bubbles in there is where I tried heating it with the uh, air dryer and it just got too hot but uh, yeah it's pretty cool there's uh, another example I use these water bottle lids I'll drink you know six or eight bottles of water a day and I'll uh, save the lids I use these for mixing stuff mixing the acrylic paints and so forth this is one of them I uh, just took out put it up to the window here you know you can kinda see through it a little bit this is pretty thick this probably took several days to dry but uh, yeah there's a pretty good example of how you can see through it Sure, we got some funky light situations going on here. Anyways, I just thought I'd uh, share that little tip. And uh, better put the lid on this thing, or I want to forget about it, dry it, and cost me another three bucks. But yeah, this green I mixed with straight alcohol, and it done okay. And the same green, believe it or not, these are the same color I mixed this with the uh, future thinned it out and it does okay you know this is several coats with this and this is several coats with the uh, alcohol thin stuff so you can kind of vary that up a little bit and vary your uh, looks if you want so they got several colors they got blues I thought that might be good for, uh, you know, if you do the window, the top of the windshield. I know other companies have clears stuff, but this is just another choice. You know, if you don't have time or don't have a hobby shop really close, and you do have, you know, I hate to say it's not a hobby shop, but Hobby Lobby you can uh, get these and you can probably get these online too these are in the uh, mosaic glass section now here's another one yeah it's another one out of the box and I it kinda set up and skinned over and I just squashed it down and that's kinda why it looks all crap like that there's another one that You can't really see it too well. That's another one that kind of I just put on there, let it set up. Anyways, I appreciate everybody watching, and uh, maybe somebody could take this and do something great with it and put up a video. Talk to you guys later. Bye bye.